Hello, dear listeners and followers of Saffron Media. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your time and your support here so far. You guys have been awesome, and I say thank you for your love and everything. Yes, it is another good day, and uh, really, it seems uh, we don't seem to really get tired uh, concerning this Edo uh, State uh, thing because there's been more drama here and there, and uh, you know, the Edo uh, State Youth. Uh, for progress have actually vowed to resist any ploy by anyone to disrupt the election in the states and i believe that is what uh, i really this is what i really expected from the youth of the state no one should agree to be used as a machinery to cause or disrupt the election even before during and after the election and it will be wise if every of the youth will also stand by this and uh, shun violence and ensure that a state has a peaceful and you know a very good election because it will pay everybody at the end of the day and well anyway guys the the, the report here it really is about uh, the youth saying that they are ready to defend their vote regardless of what uh, 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 Shomale is doing in the state because he's ready to disrupt the peace of the state they said they will not take any of this and they are ready to fight for their mandates in Edo state anyway I'll bring you details of this shortly but before then if you haven't subscribed please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget this is saffron media where we're giving trending exciting reliable and authentic happenings so this is the best place to be the best blog for your authentic happenings okay guys without wasting much of your time let us dive right into the details of this report as it says that a do you says that they are ready to defend their votes and as they declare ahead of the gubernatorial contest a group edo youth for progress have vowed to raise this ploys to subvert the will of the majority of edo people relying on brute force violence and intimidation in the forthcoming governorship election in the state the youth drawn from the 18 local government areas of the state said they are willing and ready to defend their votes whilst ensuring that an unpopular candidate is not foisted on Edo people. Speaking to journalists in Benin City, Secretary of the Group, Osahon Isibo, called on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the police and other security agencies, to ensure the conduct of a free, fair and credible election in Edo State on Saturday, September 19th. The group accused Comrade Adam Soshamale of masterminding plans to disrupt the election. Isibo noted, he said, We are worried over the rising incidents of violence orchestrated by the All Progressive Congress APC, its former national chairman, Adam Soshamale, and the party's candidates, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu. In the wake of in the wake fighting political activities ahead of the September 19 gubernatorial election, apart from the recent attacks on supporters of the opposition as well as the destruction of campaign billboards of other candidates, we also gather that there are plans by these desperate politicians to unleash mayhem on the people with the intent to scare voters away on election day, so as to perfect their ploys to rig the forthcoming election. He, however, stated, Edo people are wiser. We are prepared for their shenanigans. We want to remind them what that nobody has a monopoly of violence. We will come out in mass to vote for the candidate of our choice come September 19th, and we will do everything possible to protect our votes. Meanwhile, the spokesperson of Governor Godwin Obaseki, Crucio Osage, has accused the APC of having no substance in their campaign, adding that the opposition party is only adept at spinning the rumor, mill, and concocting alternative facts to massage the egos of their paymasters. He also accused the APC of shying away from an issue based campaign but relying primarily on tell on tell telling and propaganda of course that has been the order of the day propaganda here and there it is from both parties really but uh, you know it is very interesting that the youth of Edo State, this particular set of uh, youth have actually understand that uh, violence will only cause fear and terror in the hearts of the people which will make most voters not to come out on the day of election and you know what that means once people refuse to come out for election anything could happen because of course that election has been rigged 
and whatever comes out is what, whatever INEC gets, that is what they believe is, uh, you know, the result for the election. So that is why there are so many issues. So it is important that other youths understand that they are the machineries that these politicians want to use. The earlier they understand this, the better for them. Because if you make yourself available to be used, then you are likely not to come out of this alive. It is either you lose your life or you be imprisoned and no one will even check up on you because it is during election. Nobody cares really. Everyone is just concerned about what they want to get. And once they get that, they move to the other uh, person. And really, this youth uh, forum have really brought goods to the people of Edo State because they've spoken well and said that they are ready to protect their mandate and also ready to vote for the right candidate come the election day and they cannot wait for September 19 to come and they are ready to stand against anyone that wants to cause uh, a violence in the state like uh, they mentioned that Comrade Adams since he entered the state that there's been uh, a rising uh, 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 there's been a rising count of of violence in the state that uh, it is not good and you know so many people have actually advised Adam Soshomole regarding this uh, violence in the state because they have told him that he is a stakeholder and he has been there he understands everything he should be there to you know protect this election and not cause fight or cause violence in the election but rather he's doing the opposite because since he came before he came there was no case of you know violence in the state everyone was trying to ensure that you know they get their candidates they get their supporters and all of that but since he came he has been causing too many issues that he hardly is not in the news every time which is not good for him and also not good for the party because already the party's candidate of the all progressive congress has too many issues and too many questions to answer even before or after the election because it is not 100 percent sure for him to you know uh, 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 after winning the election that he's going to be there because of the fraud case. The fraud case is no lie. It is either he is guilty or he is not. But really, so many things surrounding, surrounding it shows that he is guilty. But all the same, let violence be shunned regarding this election. Like the youth have called the security agencies and INEC to ensure that Edo has a peaceful, free, fair and credible election. That is the most important and they should stick to that. And I also believe that is the best thing to do at a time like this. So my people, you have heard it all, whatever you have to say about this. Most importantly, violence must be shown before, during and after election. So my people, don't forget to drop your comments and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Have a pleasant time. Bye for now.